Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing another storing new photo cards in my binder video. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for this one. I feel like this is gonna be like my most exciting one yet because there are just so many cards here. A lot of exciting stuff. I'm completing like so many like sets and collections and stuff. It's insane. As you can see here, like, oh my god, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I have a crap ton of cards to put away. I don't even know how this happened, but these are photo cards from literally like a bunch of different things, like a lot of different hauls, collective hauls, my Neo Kill Plus Bai Yi haul that I did recently. Yeah, I wanted to do this video right before my mid year photo card collection update, which I will be doing. It'll probably come on next week, so look out for that. So yeah, I just thought I would store my cards one last time. I mean, obviously I need to, so yeah. Also, I have a lot of big inclusions here to put away. Before we get into the video though, we do have a special sponsorship, so... This video is sponsored by Green Chef. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company with dishes for a variety of lifestyles including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. Green Chef lets you choose from a wide array of quick and easy recipes with step-by-step -step instructions, chef's tips, and photos. All the ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and delivered right to your door. You can choose from nine recipes weekly within every meal plan so it's easy to eat well and discover new recipes every week. I'm personally no five-star Michelin, sorry Felix, but like, I really like how the ingredients come prepared and the instructions are simple and easy to follow, which makes cooking a lot easier for me. I also eat like the same five things every day, so it's really nice to try new recipes that I've never would have tried myself. It also saves time on grocery shopping, finding recipes, etc. So it's definitely stress reducing for me. As y'all can see from this footage, I cooked this meal literally all by myself within like 30 to 40 minutes, which is like insane because like I said, I suck at cooking and this meal was actually like really good. I mean, look at that. I literally did that. If you wanna try Green Chef for yourself, go to greenchef.us and use code 8ratty100 to get $100 off plus free shipping on your first box. Or you can just click the link in my description. Thank you again, Green Chef for sponsoring and let's get back to the video. Okay, now let's get into this very exciting video. So I think we will start off with 17. So let me get out my 17 binders. All right, so we have my first 17 binder. I know I did put some cards away in my reorganizing my 17 photo card binder, but I did get quite a couple more photo cards after that video, so. Okay, sorry if this lighting is kind of funky. There's like been really annoying glares, so yeah, hopefully it looks okay on camera. But anyways, let's just get into our first binder. So we have a lot of, these are all your choice photo cards. I did get them from my Neokyo haul. So yeah, I completed all three members that I'm collecting from now on. So let's just go ahead and start with Vernon's. His photo card collection has been complete, but now we have these ones to add. Yay, so these are from your choice. They are so freaking cute. These are some of my favorite cards from 17. So we'll just go ahead and slip it in here, starting a fresh new page. I wonder how many cards they're gonna do for their next comeback because the photo cards that they have, it's just a variety. So yeah, hopefully if it's like six photo cards, that would kind of be perfect because it will fill up this page perfectly, but I guess we'll see, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. So there's that. Again, I hollow sleeved my old cards so they look super pretty. And just a reminder that all my photo card supplies are linked in a card in my description. People always ask me where I get certain things. It's always in the description, so make sure to check that out if you are interested or curious on what supplies I use. Like everything is down there basically. Okay, now we have this HMV card that I got with my Your Choice photo cards. Where do I put my HMV cards? Oh, oh yeah, I usually put them here, but I have no space here. Um, I guess I'll start a new page. Okay, so this card is literally just by itself. Actually, wait, actually no. Okay, I was about to say that I was about to take this semicolon photo card out and just make this like a hangout page, like an A pattern, but I kind of don't like leaving blank spaces if it's not necessary. So I guess I'll just like put this in here, <laughs> in here for now. And I'll just fill this up. And if I ever get like more special cards, then it'll go there. Okay, so yeah, this is a little sad, but maybe I'll get some more pages. I mean, photo cards later because 
they have been doing so many like pre-order cards and like they started doing lucky draws and stuff so yeah i've kind of been downsizing my collection to like focus more on my old collection so maybe I'll get some more like special Vernon cards because his cards aren't super expensive on Mercari Japan, so we'll see. But anyways, oh my god, it's so unsatisfying how this is upside down. Like, right? It's supposed to like be this way, you know? Cause, cause can you imagine it like this? Like, it's not supposed to be like this, right? Why did they have to make this upside down? It's so weird. But okay, whatever. It's fine. I just won't. I, I'll just ignore this. Okay, anyways, moving on to Myongo. So we have his Your Choice cards also. Ooh, I prepared a page for it already. Look at how prepared I am. So these will go in here. Oh my gosh, the 8 Ratty X Myongo card. So Myongo is complete as well. That's it for him. And then, oh, I already did, I already put away my Wanu cards, but if you missed it, I did complete his as well. So cute. So yeah, that is it for this binder. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And then for my second 17 binder, again, if you missed my reorganization video, I'll like card it or something, but basically I'm no longer collecting these three members moving forward. So I did some reorganization. So if you're new or like if you missed this, this is what it looks like now. But yeah, I do need to get a couple more like older photo cards, like just these three. But anyways, we do have some missing cards. So I did finish Chang'an's You Made My Dawn set. I just wanted to complete their newer photo cards. So yeah, okay, this goes here. Especially for You Made My Dawn. Like I said, this is like my favorite photo card set because all the photo cards are like different. They're unique. So I love the variety. Yay, so now I finished everyone's You Made My Dawn set. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my God. And the backs, it's just so satisfying to see. And then we also finished um, Togyam's Hengare. This was the last card. I've been kind of lazy with this card, but I recently got it. That is finally complete. Look at how cute this card is. Oh my god, also Togyam and Chang'an, they've been posting a lot of like Hengare photos on their new Instagram accounts. Like they've been posting so many like throwbacks and it just makes me so happy seeing it. Togyam is literally an Instagram king. Like he's probably like my favorite poster on Instagram out of the 17 members. The photos that he posts are so cute. So yeah, but anyways, Hangare is complete for... Oh wait, no, not for all the members actually. I'm still missing this one. This photo card for some reason is just so expensive, especially for Chang'an. So I'm trying to get it like soon. So hopefully I will. But yeah, anyways, now we have this Your Choice Chang'an card. Someone actually did gift this to me. They didn't need to, but they were so kind to. So yeah, this is um, the other side version. So yeah, although I said I'm not gonna collect their cards moving forward, someone did decide to gift this. So I was like, you know what? It's cute. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll fill up this row. I know I'm kind of breaking my own rules, but I don't know. Just Chang'an looks so lonely here. So yeah, okay. But anyways, that is it for 17. Yeah, not that much. Okay, moving on, we are going to Stray Kids. I feel like I never go through my Stray Kids binder or like flip through it or something because ugh, Stray Kids has been so inactive lately, but today they literally released their comeback teaser slash trailer or whatever, and I'm so excited. Like, ah, oh, finally we're getting a Stray Kids comeback. Literally, Stray Kids is one of my old groups and the fact that we haven't had anything for like over a year is insane, especially for Stray Kids. Like I'm so used to Stray Kids posting or like releasing a lot of, you know, content. It's kind of wild that they haven't done anything like comeback wise. So yeah, I'm so excited. The album is coming August 23rd, so yay. So excited for that. But anyways, we just have some like older Stray Kids cards. So I think I actually completed my Cheese Hung photo card collection, which is super exciting. I don't collect like every single one of his cards like I do with Hyunjin, but I collect like most of his album cards. So yeah, but first we have this um, I Am Not Baby card. And then we also completed I Am Who. Someone gifted me this 
White's Border Cheese Hung, which I'm so grateful for. This actually took like, I think like seven months to arrive. Well, actually no, not seven months. I think like seven weeks. I don't know why I said months. What the hell? That's so long. But yeah, this took like seven to eight weeks to arrive. It actually shipped to my dorm because it was that long ago, but they actually redirected it to my house. So I'm just glad that it actually arrived. So yay, it's finally complete. Thank you so much to the person who gifted me this. And then now we also completed I Am You. So I guess I'll put this one here. I know it's not that satisfying to like see these albums separated, but it's fine, honestly. I don't really mind it, so. And then we have these two. So I think I bought two of these and then one of them was gifted to me. So yeah, again, thank you to the person who gifted me one of the cheese hungs. Oh wait, actually, I think I want to put the border one here. So this will go here. And then this one will go here because I want this row to be like non-border, border, non-border. Non okay, another page complete. And then we also have both of his Levanter cards. Um, I traded this with someone. So this one will go here to make another like border <laughs> row. And then this one will go here. Another page complete. Yay. Okay, and then last but not least, we have his final limited go live card which is so freaking adorable and boom done we are complete with chi sung's photo cards oh my god i can't believe i finished another well like i guess almost completed another stray kids member set i'm so excited i am ready for the stray kids comeback give it to me i am ready to collect more stray kids and post more stray kids content because i feel like i never do anymore since again they like never did anything but anyways okay now we have this cleo card that i randomly bought because these cleo cards are honestly so freaking cute like look at this it's so cute i want to try and get more but they're kind of expensive so i don't know if i will but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. I don't collect like a lot of Chi Sung's non album cards, but especially these two, they're too cute. So I just kind of splurged. But yeah, anyways, that is it. And then we have these just extra like um, Stray Kids cards. These, I think these three were gifted to me. And then this one I pulled in my signed album. So let's just go ahead. Oh God, do I need to do some reorganization? Oh my God. Oh, oh yeah, I left the slot for this. Okay. See, bitch, I'm prepared. Can you imagine I would need to spend like 10 minutes reorganizing and shifting everything? Oh God, that would have been annoying. But anyways, there is that one. And then, uh, oh yeah, this spot is for this one. So that one goes there. And then I recently got this, so I didn't really prepare for it, but I can just take this one out. I'll, oh yeah, I kind of, <gasps> I do put it in an age order though. Okay. Let me do some quick rearranging. <laughs> um, oh, I just need to switch these two then. Perfect. Okay. And then this is go live. So I need to shift these ones then. Okay, Felix is older than Sungmin. Okay, so it's so annoying that these photo cards move in these sleeves so much. This is why I low-key want to switch all of my sleeves to Dragon Shield because their sleeves are like a little like tighter, I guess. Oh shit, I forgot about this Sungmin card. Okay, never mind. We're not getting a row of Pangchan. How sad. All right. Ta-da. Ta-da. Okay, there we go. So I guess if I ever get an extra like card i'll just put it here but yeah that is it for stray kids i believe wow that was actually a lot though considering they didn't really have a comeback but yeah i'm very excited for the upcoming one. Oh my gosh i think it's gonna be a studio album as well so oh my gosh even more songs i'm pumped also i'm happy that hyunjin is back but anyways we are going to shift gears and move on to a girl group so we have twice because they recently had their comeback. Well, I guess by the time this video is out, it'll be like a month since their comeback, I believe. But we have this fat stack of cards. Oh my God. I mean, half of it is just the pre-order cards. So yeah, this these are all pre-order cards, but bitch. Yeah, twice keeps us fed with the photo cards. Oh my God. It's still insane to me how they gave us five cards per um, album. Can you imagine that for like a group that gives us like no photo cards, like NCT or something? Imagine getting five NCT photo cards in one album. That's crazy, but okay. I don't think I said this before, but um, I did rearrange my 
Cheon collection because I don't know I just really didn't like the amount of like gaps there were like white sleeve gaps so I just decided to you know make it a little messier and just combine all the cards together so yeah that's why it looks a little different I know it's not the most satisfying like this does not really speak to me but honestly I just I like it when the pages are filled with like actual like cards instead of like four white sleeves or like five white sleeves so I don't know if I also mentioned this either but I did take out all my fillers I wasn't a fan of them after like a month so yeah I eventually did take them out I still have them I didn't like obviously just throw them away that's such a waste but I guess if I ever want fillers again I'll just stick them back in there wait what the hell why is this logo in the front we cannot have that okay but anyways I did leave oh wait I think Oh yeah, okay, I need to leave six spots because there's the lenticular as well. So yeah, I did finish Cheong's. Oh my god, this is probably like one of my favorite sets ever for Twice. Like, look at how pretty it is. It's like cohesive, but like different at the same time. I love like the purple pink hues. So yeah, oh, especially this card. This card is so freaking cute. I love it. So yeah, collecting this was a breeze, obviously, like I said, because we got like five cards per album. So yeah. Let's just go ahead and put these in. Yay. Okay, actually, I think I'm going to put this one up here because these two match more. And then we have a row of these, like, purple-ish cards. And then we have the lenticular. I unfortunately can't sleeve this because the if I, like, sleeve it, it'll, like, bend the lenticular because it, like, fits too tight. So it's fine, though. A lenticular is super thick anyway, so yeah. But yay, at least it fits in a nine pocket though, which is nice. But yeah, that is Taste of Love complete. And moving on, I did also collect Tahyun set because I've been low-key thinking of collecting Tahyun. I've been wanting to collect more Twice cards, especially after Ava started collecting OT9. Like their videos really tempt me into collecting more photo cards. So Ava, stop. You're making me think of bad decisions so yeah but anyways i just collected tahyuns for now because you know we got so many cards so yeah i don't know maybe you'll see a starting my tahyun collection in the future <laughs> not anytime soon though but yeah i've been thinking about it so yeah but anyways let's go ahead and put these in so these are the five cards i decided to keep since i had an extra like set so these ones i pulled from my original album they're so pretty oh i love taste of love cards they're so cute okay just go ahead and put Taehyung's cards in. I'm glad we can start fresh and like the cards end here. So yeah. Okay. Put this here. And then the lenticular. So yeah, that's Taehyung's set. And then we'll just go ahead and put these extra cards in. I typically like to sell my extra twice cards because Usually I would want to keep like these cute cards, but honestly, I'm really trying to like downsize and be a little more strict on myself. Otherwise, it'll just be like sitting there. Yeah, I usually sell my extra twice cards and keep the ones I really want to keep or like keep the cards that people gift me. But yeah, for now, I'm just keeping these. So yeah. Okay, that is Taste of Love. And then if you're wondering what these stickers are, I literally got this like sticker set. This was from like their Twice Land merch like a really long time ago. I literally bought this at like my second KCON I went to, which was I think like 2018. I just decided to put it in here for now because it's cute. And it's kind of like a divider between like my album cards and my pre-order cards. So anyways, we do have pre-order cards obviously because of their comeback. I don't know why, but I've been sleeving my pre-order cards recently. I typically don't, so I can save on sleeves and stuff. Like you can see my earlier pre-order cards, they're not in sleeves, but I don't know. I just have a habit of sleeving my cards nowadays. So I guess from now on, I will sleeve them. But yeah, I do have a lot of extra sleeves though, but oh, wait, what? What the hell? <laughs> How did I not notice that until now? Oh my god. I I guess the cards stuck together. Oh my god. I didn't even know that. What? Okay. Anyways. Oh, I just noticed these pre-order cards are like slightly bigger than like normal cards. Yeah. This is probably my favorite set though. Ugh, I love the like... The foil concept what is it the in love set i think so pretty 
I also love how they've been doing like, these aren't like selfies, but it looks like they are, they were like taken on like an iPhone or something. I kind of like these pictures better than like the concept cards that they used to do. So yeah, so pretty. Oh, I did not put these in order, whoops. Okay, I'll move this to the front later. <laughs> this is the taste version, I think. Okay, so that is all the Taste of Love pre-order cards. And then I'll just go ahead and put the group ones. Ooh, it fills up this last row nicely, cool. Again, I love that they're like selfie photos instead of like, you know, concept photos. And I know this isn't a pre-order card, but it fits perfectly. So I just put it here. It's from the album, but yeah. Okay, that is it for twice. Okay, now we're moving on to my first boy group binder. I believe in here we have EXO. Oh, this is not in the right order. EXO and Enhypen. Oh my God. <laughs> I know I've been getting like a lot of Enhypen cards lately. It's insane. Like these are all the Enhypen cards I need to put away. Bitch. Oh my God. What the heck happened to me? But yeah, I mean, I recently started collecting a third member and also like half of these are Goo Goo package cards. Let me show y'all. Yeah, these are all Goo Goo package cards. So I won't spend too much time putting these away. But yeah, anyways, first let's move on to EXO. I finished my Kai collection like for real this time. I always say it in my videos, but it's because my orders kept getting fucked over. So yeah, but now for realsies, I finished my Kai collection. So finally finished Obsession. It was such a pain in the ass, but this was the last card that I needed for the album. I finally was able to buy it, so let's put this in here. And then I also managed to buy the Kino card, which was also a pain in the ass to buy because the seller took like six to seven weeks to ship it out for some reason. But anyways, I still managed to get it, but look at this, Obsession's finally complete. Oh my God, finally. And then I have all of his um, Don't Fight the Feeling cards. I was able to trade for most of them. So yeah, these cards are like seriously some of my favorites though. I love the orange hair. It's, it suits him so well, like, Ugh, I love that all the cards are with his orange hair. Also, he takes such superior selfies. This photo card is my favorite. So cute. Oh my god. Okay, another thing about Dragon Shield sleeves is that the sleeves are just, they're just slightly bigger than Ultra Pro sleeves, so they fit like pretty like perfectly, so you kind of have to like shove it down there. <laughs> okay, there. And then we have his AR cards. Oh, whoops, I forgot about this ID card. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm trying to like flatten it out, but yay, we have Kai, orange hair Kai complete. Oh my God, it looks so nice. And then someone gives me this as a freebie. This is from the Super M like sticker set. It's official, so I just decided to like put it in my binder. Oh, perfect, I'll just like put it in here. <laughs> okay. I believe that is it for EXO, so... And then, now we move on to the abundance of Enhypen cards. Yeah, I think I pretty much finished my J collection, so... Yeah, these are all the J cards I have. Exciting. So yes, first we have the um, Border Day 1 Weaver's Period of Benefits, so... I'll just go ahead and put it in here since it's like the same album. Also, I don't know, I feel like 7 page pattern... Wait, what? I feel like 7 pattern pages are like my favorites. Like if I had to choose a pattern, because like I said, I don't, I don't like blank spaces. I try to like minimize them, but the seven pattern looks kind of satisfying though, so. Okay, and then I do have to buy this card. Oh wait, no, actually someone is gifting me this. So yeah, that's why that's not there. But we can finally fill up these pages full of like special cards. Most of these were like from a Neokyo package. I've been waiting to ship, so yeah. Oh shoot, wait, I need to like see what I'm putting in. So, okay. So Goo Goo Random Selfie, which is right here. I can't believe I pulled this card. Oh my God, my literal luck. So yeah, I also put like the little like and hype and clear frame thingy. So that goes in here. And then, oh, Goo Goo Concept. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what? So this goes here. And then I'll put the two and connect special cards right here because they're like Polaroid selfies. So cute. 
Oh wait, actually, I want to put this one here. Because he's like facing like this way. You know, the same direction. <laughs> okay, and then the two Goo Goo Package Polaroids. So it's like a Polaroid pattern right here. Oh wow, he's wearing the same outfit in these. Nice. So this page is complete. Oh my god, this is so weird. These photo cards are so flimsy, so like flipping this page is like... It's like strangely thin, but that page is complete. And now this entire page is going to be all of the, and I almost said in hyphen, and connect cards, all the trading cards, since I decided to get all of them because they weren't too pricey for the full set. It's so annoying trying to take stuff out and put stuff in with this band-aid. The reason why I have this on is because I was packaging trades and I have like a dual tape dispenser, like one for packing tape and one for like scotch tape. So I was trying to like take off a piece of packing tape and I accidentally scraped my finger against the blade. So yeah, it's no big deal. I'm fine. It just hurts a little. <laughs> but yeah, this band-aid is like in the freaking way. So that's annoying. But okay, I had a way of like organizing these. Oh yeah, the exclusive picture goes in the middle, and then I was gonna go like this, then like these, like this. Isn't that perfect? Like these three are sideways, this is like normal, and these two are like guitar picks. Oh my god. Mind of a genius. I'm just kidding, anyone could have done that. Okay, <laughs> the fact that he's just wearing the same outfit in all of these. But it looks nice on one page, so yeah, okay. Now I have this. This is the fever pre-order benefit. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know where to put this. All the pages are filled. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, okay, well, I think I'm gonna get more, like, cards in the future, like special cards. So I guess for now, I'll just make a new page. Because and Hypen has been putting out a lot of, like, special cards also, so I might get some more. But for now, I'll just put that here. Okay, there's that. And then I put this two-pocket page here just for these two inclusions. So this is the membership photo card, which is ginormous, so obviously it doesn't fit in here, sadly. So I just decided to put it like this. I know it's not the most satisfying thing, but I want it in here, so... I don't know, I thought this was cute, so I'm just gonna put it in here to fill the space up. I'll put it sideways. If I get like another big inclusion, I'll just like replace it, but okay. I think that's it for Jay. And now we have a lot of Jake cards as well. So I pretty much finished a majority of his cards, except for like one because it wasn't arriving on time. So yeah, I think I already put these in like order. So I think I could just put these in. I had to do a lot of preparation like off camera so that I don't have to waste too much time because this video is gonna be a long one. We're already at 35 minutes of filming and I haven't even like, I'm only like halfway done. So yeah, I'm trying to save as much time as possible. But this page is complete. I just have these special cards to like fill up this page, but this page is done. And then we have these two photo quads. So I have this one and then this one. This photo card I already said was a pain in the ass because it kept getting canceled, so I have to rebuy it. But besides that, I'm done with Jake. Nice. And then we move on to my brand new Sangwoon collection. So, oh, I already put a page here. Okay, nice. I'm doing the same thing like I did with Jake. Okay, so this is the light stick card. I'm just gonna put it in the middle right here. And then put his day one cards. So cute. I'm planning on getting the Seasons Greetings card maybe. I don't know if I'll get the Neck Pillow card. We'll see. But yeah, I do want to fill up this page. If not, then I could just do a 7 or like an 8 pattern maybe. I don't know. But I'm thinking about it. That's this page. And then for Carnival. So the selfie cards will go on the left. These concept cards in the middle. And then... The lentis will go here. It's so satisfying how it fills up like an entire page nicely. I love that. Ta-da! Okay, that is Sungwoon. It's so funny how I finished Sungwoon's album cards first before Jake and Jay's because I'm still missing like one card, but it's because there's been some delays. So yeah, but anyways, that is it for Sungwoon. And then we just have a bunch of like random like group cards or like Goo Goo package cards and stuff. So I have these three. I think these are Weaver's Prayer to Benefit group cards. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's that. And then I have these two from the album. I don't know if I'll get the third one of this, but for now I'll just put it in like this. Oh, maybe I can do like a six pattern. 
because these concepts kind of match, right? Okay, so this is the down version. And then the hype. Hmm, maybe then I'll get the up group card. So yeah, if it's for a good price, then I'll probably just end up getting it, but okay. Now for the abundance of Goo Goo Package photo cards. So we have the concept version. I'm just basically gonna be doing like six patterns. Oh no, wait. Oh, I think actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like make like rows for them. So here is like the concept card. And then they have two Polaroids each, so yeah. It fills up a row nicely. Oh my god, I'm such a genius. Or maybe I should put the concept card in the middle. I don't know, I'll leave it like that for now. Okay, so there's these ones, and then we have these like unit Polaroids. There's seven in here, so I'm actually gonna put it in rainbow order. It's weird that there's no red color, but there's two blues. So I guess this is indigo, but like, I feel like they could have taken this indigo out and put a red instead. Strange, but anyways. <laughs> Okay, so these are like all the extra and hyphen cards. Wow, they fit like pretty nicely. We love to see it. So I think that's it for this binder. And then super quickly, I do have two cards to go into this Boy Groups 2 binder. So yes, I do have a BTS card. And I know y'all are like, where's the butter unboxing? Are you gonna get the butter album? I am planning on getting it just like later. I'm not gonna do an unboxing video, but I think I'm gonna like maybe include in like a haul or like maybe like another shop with me video. Maybe I'll get it then. I'm not sure, but I definitely am planning on getting it. I've seen like the photo cards and stuff and they're so cute. So I definitely do want to get it later. Yeah, for now I have this B Essentials Edition card that I traded for like, I think like three, two months ago. It's been that long, but this page is complete. And then I have one last GOT7 card, which goes in here. I love the spot for it. So yeah, that was literally it. Just those two cards. All right, now to our girl groups binder. I have quite a few girl group photo cards to put away. Starting off with red velvet. I actually have so many red velvet cards, it's surprising. I honestly didn't think I would make this much progress considering like most of their cards are out of print, but I have quite a few here. I'm literally only missing this card. This is from the velvet. For some reason, this card is like so hard to find. Like. I know a lot of their cards are hard to find, but this one has been a, the most difficult because like every time I see it on sale on Instagram, someone just snatches it up before me and I can't find it on Mercari Japan. So, so sad. If you have this card for a reasonable price, hit me up. But, but yeah, anyways, I am replacing this card since this is sadly a museum card that I didn't know it was. Finally got an actual album card. Yay. <laughs> so that's from Russian Roulette. And then this is from Perfect Velvet, yes. So this will go here. Oh my god, this is probably one of my favorite cards though. I love this like peekaboo outfit that they did. And then we have a lot of cards for this page actually. So, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I got confused for a second. I also decided to put their like Japanese cards in here. I usually, like I said, I like to separate Japanese and Korean cards, but they only have two and putting these cards in here like fills up the space like nicely. So. That's why I just decided to do that. But yeah, now we have Sappy. I didn't even know Sappy was like, or their Japanese cards in general were like really hard to get. I found this one for like a pretty decent price actually. So yeah, but maybe they're out of print, I guess, like the rest of their albums. And then for um, day one, okay, this is the, wait, I'm so confused. Cause I left the spot for the Kino here. And this is for day two, which goes here. Wait, then what's this space for? Am I missing a... No, right? Wait, I'm pretty sure it's... I'm so confused. Oh my... 
why am I so stupid? I was like, wait a damn minute, because I thought I put these cards in order, but I guess this was in the back. Oh my god, I'm literally a dumbass. Ignore that, okay. Okay, there we go. I was like, I swear I had this card, but anyways... Day one is complete. And then we have the two last finale cards. Yay, I didn't think I would see the day, but it's finally here. Woohoo, so I'm gonna put this one. Actually, let me put this over here. I feel like these two look super similar, so I'll like make a nice five pattern. But Red Velvet's having their comeback, so in August, which I'm so excited about. So I'll, I'll definitely have to like probably shift this like upwards so that I can have like more space. I'll just leave it like this for now. Look at this, I finally completed finale. <gasps> yeah, but anyways, now we have my joy cards, which I'm so happy about. These are like my dream pulls from this album. Like I pulled this dog photo card, which I'm like geeked out about. And then someone actually traded me this happy birthday one, which I thought I'd never get because I feel like everyone wants this one, but I did get it. So I finally have the two cards that I really wanted. I don't really collect like the solos too deeply, I just collect Yeti, but I really wanted these two, so yeah, okay, anyways, how should I do this? Um, because there's only one spot left. Let me like scoot this up here, and then put these two here. Okay, I'll probably double sight this one then, so wait, what? Okay, I'll just go like this then. Wait. What am I doing? Oh yeah, because Joy didn't have like a like a one of these like special cards, like a warranty card or something, like these two did. So damn, it would have been so satisfying. You know, I would have put this behind like this. And then if Joy had a warranty card, it would be like three rows. But guess I'll just like put this here then. It's kind of weird. And then this card, this is a museum card, so I guess I'll just like stick this behind here. <laughs> So yeah, this is my miscellaneous red velvet page. Maybe if I get more red velvet miscellaneous cards in the future, I'll like make another page, but whatever. Okay, moving on. That took way too long. Now we have It's A, which I completed, which I'm so excited about. I finished my Illusion collection. Oh my God. These icy cards, I swear. Oh my God. They were kind of a struggle, but luckily I found some really kind sellers who were willing to sell these for a really good price. So yeah, I got these cards like ages ago, but I'm finally putting them in now. So that was the last card for Icy. And then I actually completed Wannabe as well. So I traded for this card. I did, I did like a three-way trade, I think. And then this card, oh my God, it took forever, but I finally found it for a great price. I think someone like DM'd me about it. So thank you if you helped me. But yay, this page is complete. And then we have this, um, guess who photo card. Oh yeah, this is the limited card. So I decided to like put it here since it was like a random card. So this goes here. And then I also decided to put this Jujin card here. I don't know if I'll try to collect some like Jujin pre-order benefits. I know they do a lot and they're really pretty. So I might, I've been thinking like, I don't know, they do a lot of special cards. I don't know if, if I'm gonna like collect Itzy that deeply but maybe because some of those cards are very tempting so yeah same with the units i don't know if i'm gonna collect the units but yeah that's my page for now <laughs> and then these remaining cards these are from the limited edition album so i decided to just put these in here okay i totally didn't account for this <laughs> my bad um hmm. what should i do i guess i'll just I mean, this is a sticker, so does it really need to be here? I'll just like go like this. Someone gifted me the sticker, that's why. I'll go like this, and then... This isn't even a photo card, this is like a space filler. <laughs> I guess I'll put it here for now, just to fill up this empty space. Why did I sleeve this? What the heck? Okay, there we go, but... Yay, Ryujin is complete! Woohoo! That's a sticker also, by the way. <laughs> okay, now we move on to Eyes 1. So I recently decided to kind of like collect less Unbi cards because I don't know, I had a couple missing like AR cards and stuff like that or like just random cards, but I don't know. I've, I kept like putting it back. I don't know. I just haven't really like been wanting to like complete all the cards really. I'm just honestly content with the amount of cards I have now. So yeah, I decided to like just collect the remaining spots. So. Yeah, you'll see in a minute, but I do have a couple Eyes 1 cards here. So this is from Blue Eyes. 
So yeah, I also like combined everything. It fills up the pages nicely, so. And then I believe I have this one. I think I'm gonna collect all the Blue Mai's like selfie cards. So yeah, it fills up this page nicely. I keep saying that, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so this one goes here. Oh my God, I hate it when the cards get crooked, why? Whatever, and then this one goes Oh wait, no, I think I'm gonna get the other version of this, so that'll go here. So I guess this will go here then. I don't know, I forgot how I like set it up, but yeah, I'm just missing these three Blue Mice cards. And then I have this One Rick Diary. I know there's six One Rick Diary cards, but like I said, I'm content with just having like these three. So yeah, there's that. And then this is the last One Reeler card. Oh wait, no, not the last one, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I have this one. So yeah, I'm just missing this one and I'll be done with one reeler. So yeah, these are all the NB cards I'm planning on collecting. I know she's releasing a solo in the future. I'm not sure if I'm gonna collect it yet, but we'll see. So yeah, that is it for Eyes 1. Yeah, okay, that's everything for girl groups really. So, okay, the moment y'all have been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for, we are gonna do NCT. Sorry, I kind of pushed it back, but Oh my gosh, the amount of NCT cards I have. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing some collecting. Obviously, Dream had like two comebacks, so there was a lot to collect. But anyways, starting off with my ult of ult, Mark. So yeah, I finished his Korean photo card set, finally. This has been in the works for literally like the day I started like collecting him. Like what, three years maybe? So <sighs> finally, so first of all, this was one of the cards I needed, his Superhuman Kino. Thank you, SM, for reprinting Superhuman Kinos because I pulled it. So yeah, if you missed that, that was in my last collective haul. So yeah, finally, ah, oh my God. Dun, 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 dun. This page is complete. I also decided to like put their circle cards or like his circle cards here. So this is kind of the setup. So this is for Neozone. This is for punch. I know it's not the most satisfying, but this is the best I can do. So yeah, if you don't like it, too bad. It's my collection. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for that. And then we have dream photo cards, which I also recently completed. Yay. So yes, we have the remaining hot sauce cards. So this is for the crazy version. This is my favorite one probably. And then we have the clip AR selfie card. So yeah, I decided to put all like the selfies here. Yay, I can't believe that this page used to be like just these four cards like here because he wasn't in like a dream comeback for so long, but now we have a lot more dream cards, which is very exciting. Okay, so this is the final card for Hot Sauce, the clip card. And then we move on to Hello Future, which is like probably my one of my new favorite eras for NCT Dream. Like We Go Up has been like my favorite dream era for the longest time, but Hello Future is probably like a close second or like probably beats we go up i don't know but yeah we have all of his cards including the kinos which i'm so happy about i can't believe i found trades that fast but anyways ugh, all of these cards are so cute especially the two kinos i'm in love oh my god this is literally my new favorite holy grail card ugh, neon beret dior shirt are we kidding like oh my goodness the last card dun dun dun, dun. We finished his Korean cards, hell yes. Okay, yeah, okay, anyways, moving on. We finally have this. This is the Super One Blue ID card. Someone graciously gifted this to me, so thank you again. Finally, this is complete. I've been looking for this for the longest time, but Super M page is done. And then the rest of these marked cards, we have a bunch, but these are all like non-album like special cards since he's my ult of ults now i decided to like collect a lot more of his like special cards so yeah anyways we have this one this is from the mumo i think it's a fan sign card or just like a special card from mumo wait actually i'm not, i'm not gonna put that there um wait where was i gonna put this um <laughs> wait i'm like kind of lost actually i will put it here you know what because this is from the resonance fan sign so this is from mumo so 
Actually, I might change it, but for now, I'll just leave it there. <laughs> okay, I need more pages. Hold up. Clearly, I am not prepared for this, but I'll probably like end up reorganizing it off camera, like before my photo card collection video. But yeah, there's also more like NCT Dream fan sign cards that I want to collect. So yeah, but anyways, these are from the Seasons Greetings pack, which are so cute. I literally love these cards. So actually, I'll just put the respective units together. So that's Dream, and then I'll do. One, two, seven. Yeah, again, these are just random cards. This is a Nature Republic card I was gifted. It's so cute. And I found out that this was a replica of the paper toy, which I didn't know about. It was my fault for not doing my research. But yeah, I just put a replica label on the sleeve. Obviously, I didn't put on the actual card, but it's really cute. So I just decided to keep it. Why not? I'm not planning on getting the real one. So whatever. We'll just leave that there. And then we have these cards. So this is from the trading 90s love trading card set. Um, this is the special one day card. So yeah, that fills up that page. Yeah, I don't really like this setup. I'll just change it later. Okay, these pages are all filled. Damn. Okay, these are from the D Icon magazine. <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting this in here. It's literally band-aids, but it fits. So why not? And I'm not going to fill this up with white page it, I mean white sleeves, because I'm going to fix it later, but yeah, okay, anyways, that is it for Mark. That was a lot, actually. <laughs> oh, it actually, psych, I have two more things. So I do have both of his Polaroids also for Hello Future, and I usually separate my big inclusions, but I decided to put a couple in here, so, because they're super cute. But anyways, these are the Polaroids from Hello Future. So yeah, this is like a nice Polaroid page. Cool. Oh, I just realized this is like colorful and this is like not as colorful. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it for Mark. Moving on to Chaehyun. Oh my god. I think I completed his like album cards except for the Kinos, but yay. So yeah, I have his two fire truck cards also. I think I traded for both of these actually, so that was nice. Again, thanks to the reprint. Damn, if SM, haven't, SM didn't do that reprint, I, pr I would still be struggling, but those are both of his fire truck, and then we have both of his regular irregular cards. Yeah, a pattern's not the most satisfying, but I'll just leave it like that for now. One two seven's gonna have a comeback soon, like later this year, so it'll probably like change again. But I'm just leaving it like this for now. But yeah, and then the only card I'm missing is his Neo Zone Kino. I do have Toyong, so if you want to trade, hit me up. But anyways, now we have this one. This is the Empathy dream card so i'm done with empathy nice and then i also traded for this resonance card this is the future version oh my god i can't believe i have like all of his album resonance cards these are the only two kinos i have because this was from my group order but this isn't even an album card this is from the bus tour but whatever and then i have this punch sticker that someone gifted me as a freebie Ugh, what should i do actually i'll just like since this is punch, I'll like put it here behind this one. I'll like fix it later. Oh, that is not satisfying, but this video has been like over an hour now, so I need to move it along. Okay, but anyways, now we move on to Geno, which I also have a lot of cards for. So this card, I don't know if I'll ever get, but anyways, I already say that. We have all of his hot sauce cards, which I, I bought these three and then I traded for this one. So, okay, this is the crazy version the boring version, then the chilling version, and then the seven dream cafe. So hot sauce is complete, yay. And then these are for hello future. So I'm still missing like his Kino card. I'm in the middle of trading for his hello Kino. It's on the way, but I still need to trade for his future Kino. So if y'all want to hit me up, hit me up. If you want to trade on my trade and sale Instagram, but yeah, that's why I'm leaving these two blank for now. But anyways, we move on to these two albums. So, or three, what am I saying? Okay, I finally have this Reality Empathy card. It was so expensive, but I'm not even going to talk about it. But yay, this page is like filled up nicely. I'm not getting his Kinos again because they're so damn expensive. So yeah, why did I say like that? Expansive? <laughs> Okay, and then we have these Candy Lab cards. I could not resist. These were so pretty. So yeah, I just decided to get it. The Candy Lab cards are so cute, but they're also super expensive. So 
Yeah, but anyways, this completes a nice little row. Cute. And then I also decided to put these in here. So yeah, <laughs> I literally left like a two pocket page for this. So I'm putting his postcard here. Like, look at how ethereal he looks. Oh, I love it. So yeah, and then the standee. I also have his Hello Polaroid. I guess I'll just put it on the back of here for now. So yeah, sorry to like demote you, Hello Future Polaroid, but that's good for now. And then we move on to just random NCT cards. So I decided to collect OT7 for some of the sets for Dream. So I collected it for the jewel case cards because I got all seven covers. So yeah, I have all of them here. So first we have the selfie clip cards. I literally put their age order here because I always forget and I didn't want to fuck it up this time. So yeah, although I'm pretty sure I already organized it that way, but yeah. And also again, I don't really like this five pattern, but this is the best way I can think of. So leave me alone. It'll do for now. So that's complete. And this is the last card I needed for the clip cards for hot sauce. And then since I bought a bunch of extra, oh wait, no, I'm not talking about that yet. What am I saying? Okay, these are for the Cafe 7 Dream cards. These were not too expensive. So that's why I decided to collect OT7 for them. I know it's not satisfying as an OT7 set, but I wanted to put Mark and Jeno in their own section. So yeah, but anyways, that is 7 Dream Cafe. And then I bought a bunch of extra albums and I decided to keep these since I pulled OT7 for the um, agent cards. So yeah, I feel like they would have been not that expensive either because it's the same as the dream ones. Like they come with every album. So yeah, but these ones are so cute. I love how like all of them are wearing sunglasses except for Chunla. But yeah, oh, this goes here. Yay. Okay, so those are my OT7 sets. And then I just have a bunch of just random cards here and there. So yeah, I pulled this Taeyeon Kino. So I guess I'll put it up here. Okay, and then this is the Kino that I pulled. So again, I would want to trade this for Geno's future, but I will put this here. And then I'll just put this here, I guess. This is a museum card that someone gifted me, so I'm keeping it here. Okay, and then we have even more random cards. Um, this was gifted to me by Pat. This is just a random Shaojin card she had. She just gifted it to me, so yeah, I'll just put this here with Hendry. And then, will this fill up this page nicely? I guess we'll find out. Someone gifted me these three Nature Republic Polaroids, which are so pretty. So yeah, these are not in age order. I'm just sticking it in randomly. I'll probably fix it later, but these were also gifted to me. These are like random group stickers. Like they always do these random sticker sets. So, oh, you know what will be more satisfying? Okay, I'll put this Resonance one here for now. And these um, NCT 127 sets, these are from like random pre-orders. So there's this, there's a blank in the middle because I took out Mark's card, but it would be nice to put it like this, you know? <laughs> Is that weird? I mean, wait, the colors low-key match though. So yeah, okay. So I'll just put this in for now. So this is another sticker. And then this one is from the AR ticket set, but it's a group one. So there's that. And then I forgot about this Lucas sticker that someone gave to me. So this will go here, <laughs> my random Lucas cards. Okay. Wow, I kind of have to speed through that. Sorry if that was kind of rushed, but this video is so damn long already. So yeah, but that is one, two, I mean, NCT. Wow, oh my God, this binder is almost full now. Damn, I put a lot of cards today, but okay, moving on to our last couple of things. We have a couple of like random miscellaneous cards. So yeah, literally just four. So this will be super quick. But I do have these cards from I use Lilac. I bought the Hylac version recently. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these away. Again, this album is Supreme. So yeah, that's why I decided to buy it. Or Superior, I guess. Whatever's the better word. Okay, and then these two are just random Brave Girls cards since I bought their recent comeback album. I just decided to stick it in here for now. So yeah. 
actually let me switch the order <laughs> to like the right versions okay that's literally it so yeah that was my miscellaneous binder and then we have one more binder to go through actually all right so we have a lot of big inclusions to put away actually so let me take these out of my big inclusion pouch okay i already set up like the pocket pages to save some time but anyways first we have a lot of 17 because they have their comeback recently <laughs> so yeah i have a lot of vernon stuff because i collect only vernon's big inclusion since he's like my ult so oh my god this binder is getting so full oh geez i can't believe this is only 17 big inclusions but okay first i have this so this is the entry card from not alone so i'm just gonna put it here with this other oh shoot this is not even centered what the hell <laughs> okay anyways we have this one there and then we have a bunch of your choice inclusions i already set this but i bought all of vernon's for like a really good price so yay that's nice so okay how was i gonna do this again oh yeah okay so for these bigger postcards i decided to do a three pocket page because they don't really fit the four pocket page nicely, which is so unfortunate because it would have been four postcards, but I decided to do this. Okay, so this goes here. And then this one goes here. Look at how nice that fits. And then I decided to double up on this one since it's like the same concept. And it, this is a unit one, so I don't really mind it being in the back. Okay. So those are those postcards. And then we have these random like other inclusions that they had. So yeah, this will go in a four pocket page. It's so weird how this one's kind of like upside down. I know it's supposed to be horizontal, but like this is like this way up. So it has to be upside down. Ugh, not satisfying, but whatever. And then this one goes here. So those are the mini cards. And then I got two of these like pre-order cards. I think these are from like Universal or something. So yeah, I'll just fill these up here. Okay, that is it for Vernon's stuff. And then we just have a bunch of other like random 17 year choice inclusions that I pulled. Yeah, like I said, I already bought like all of Vernon. So I decided to just keep these instead of trading. So first I'm gonna put these postcards away. So these are these postcards and then Oh yeah, I have these three unit postcards. And then the three group postcards. These are all the same. I think this is from the Target exclusive version. I have three because obviously I bought three copies, but yeah, this will just go in here. Oh wait, I have this. What was I going to do with this? I think I was just going to like put it in the back or something like this. Okay, perf. That is it for my 17. <laughs> Look at this binder, it's like so stuffed. I probably need to like change it soon or whatever, but okay, last binder. Oh God, <gasps> oh my God, ow. Okay, I kind of struggled with that one, but this is my big inclusions binder. I don't think I've ever shown this in a video. I might've shown it on like Instagram or something, but I decided to take out all of my big inclusions, except for 17, that's already in their own binder, but I wanted to put all my big inclusions in here just to make storing things easier because I always forget. And it made my other binders too full and like messy. So yeah, here it is. It's so big. This is one of my old like four inch binders that I used to use. And I also, oh my God, my dog is like barking. But yeah, I made this cover with an extra Resonance album that I had. Look at how cute this is. I can't believe I did that. So yeah, but anyways, we have other big inclusions to put away. Okay, so these are the boy group inclusions. I just have a few. So I have these kickback postcards that Pat also graciously gifted me. So thank you, Pat. I actually already have this one. So I'll just like put this one in the back right here and then I'll go ahead and put Lucas's up here. Okay, that is it for kickback. And then I have this extra Chemin um, Hello Future Polaroid, so I'm just gonna put this here. And then I have these two EXO postcards from Don't Fight the Feeling, which will go here. Oh my God, these postcards are ginormous. <laughs> I didn't even realize how big these were until I put them in here. So, 
Last but not least, we have some girl group stuff. All right, we have, oh my God, this binder is so big. It like barely fits on my desk, but we have some uh, um, alcohol free or taste of love inclusion. So first we have these Target exclusive bookmarks, which I don't know if I was gonna like collect or trade or something, but someone offered to trade for both of these. So I was like, why not? So yeah, I just realized this Magna line. Oh my God. Wow, what a coincidence, but yeah, anyways. These will go in here. Finally, these two have been in here for the longest time and there's just this empty space, but now I can finally put these in here. Yay. Okay, for these, um, I just decided to like put them like here. So yeah, like share this almost. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I was gonna put this like here. And then I pulled two, two Chang. so actually, I mean, these are the same. So I'll just go like this actually. <laughs> I know I'm like leaving one out, but whatever. It's okay. I don't really collect big inclusions for twice anyways, so it's fine. And then we have the tasting cards, which I didn't trade. I don't, like I said, I don't really care about the who I get for the big inclusions. So yeah, but anyways, these fit so nicely. Okay, and then we have these joy inclusions. So this... Um, film strip, I guess we'll go in here, completes this page, and then, oh yeah, oh wait, actually, okay, I'll fix this later, but I was about to put the film strip here, but I didn't even notice that, so I think I'm just gonna make a three pattern, or like use a three pocket page, I'll fix it later, but I'm just gonna put these Polaroids in here for now. Oh my god, this video is an hour and 20 minutes long. Holy crap. I did not expect it to be this long. <laughs> but these Polaroids are so pretty. I actually really wanted to pull these two. So yeah, this one's also super pretty. Okay, last two inclusions. <gasps> oh shit, I was going to put these in my miscellaneous binder. Anyways, okay, there we go. <laughs> nice. All right, so with that, that concludes this long ass video, basically another movie. Okay, I'll end it on this binder. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching and sticking around till the end if you did. I really appreciate you, you a real one. So yeah, oh my God, that was, that was a journey, y'all. We put away so many different cards. We completed so many collections, sets. Yeah, oh my god, this is probably my longest storing video ever, but that's kind of my fault for waiting so long. But yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and were excited as well. I will be doing an updated photo card collection video, probably like after this one. Um, it'll be like a mid-year collection since my, since my collection has changed so much over the course of six months. So yeah, but anyways, look forward to that for a more in-depth like look of my collection, but Anyways, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, a huge thank you again to Green Chef for sponsoring this video. Again, if you want to get $100 off across your first four Green Chef boxes, you can go to greenchef.us slash 8 ready 100 and enter code 8 ready 100 to get $100 off plus free shipping. And see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.